What's good my people, it's your boy Freezy but you already know that we are back once again with another one Yo, yo, just come with me yo, just come with me So guys, before we get started, I would like to say a big shout out to each and every one of you who's been supporting the channel all my day ones with the likes the comments i see you guys man i appreciate it big time you appreciate it big time and if today is your first time coming across this channel you are most definitely welcome to the family yo i'll be very happy to have you guys on board and catch good vibes you get me i ain't gonna keep you guys waiting for long because i know this is the moment y'all been waiting for the moment has finally arrived king sak is back with another one he got the legendary rapper e40 all the way from west coast california this is the same rapper who gave Give us choices back in 2014 and i remember it like it was yesterday every time you go to the club you have to hear this song like over and over and over so i'm super excited that ken sak was able to link up with e40 you know so let's jump right into it guys Dope, dope, dope intro, man. I love the intro. The title of the song is CEO Flow. And he didn't pull up in the latest Range Rover. He didn't pull up in a BMW. He didn't pull up in a, in a Toyota or whatever. He pulled up in a classic. Yo, this is a big man thing. This is a boss thing. You know I'm running out of patience. Still out of me, can the nigga who will make a panic because it feel like a vacation. Mama me send him a location. Someone in me fear, you don't need an invitation. Yeah. Yo, this is typical of a rapper, man. Every rapper feels like they have to always address the haters. So he just started off by talking about the haters. People who feel certain way about him, you get me? So if you feel any way about him, you know where to find him. He already gave you all the address. We have been in conversations about the fan base. You were fucking with the nation. Tell me why you're when it comes to fan base, ain't nobody fucking with the nation. He's talking about his fan base. Sack nation. Yo, you guys gotta help me on this one. Is it fact that Sack Nation is bigger than Beam Nation? Is it bigger than Shutter Movement? You guys gotta help me on this one, alright? I'll leave it up to you guys, man. Let me know in the comment section below, alright? Niggas will be hating, I'm on a paper chase. The first nigga to do it. I'm so swift, I dodged all the bullet. This is the idea, we use force to do it. This will be lack from day one, I knew it. Never tell them. This is no lack. From the one he knew he was gonna be the king of rap. Yo, somehow he's telling the truth. Because when you really check among his peers, the guys he started out with, there's nobody on his level right now. There's nobody, none of his peers. It seems like really it wasn't luck, it was hard work, and he knew where he wanted to be. And he's already there, he's already getting there. Dope, dope shit. The Godfather, the boss rapper, you whom you had the Oscar time, you were your also for Katrina Mechamo, how you deliver you for a proper. You are not. Another fact, man, another fact. Yo, he dropping facts on facts on facts. Because if Sack leaves the industry right now, a lot of rappers are going to suffer big time. And that's one thing I love about the new rappers because all of them, they paid their utmost respect to, to Sack. I've not really seen anybody disrespecting Sack. And that is one dope, dope thing about Ghanaian rappers. I saw the other day on his birthday, everybody was posting him, wishing him well and all that, which is beautiful. This is how it's supposed to be. They appreciate him, man. Most of these rappers have learned a lot from him. His delivery, his flow, his, his rap pattern. They've learned everything from him. So it, it's another fact, man. I'm rocking with the villains, motherfucker. I've been rapping for a minute, so I'm used to all the sabotage. Yes. Man, that shit is camouflage. Woo. Decade in the game, I made a lot of cash, but I need more, because you know we blow money fast. Niggas want to tap into the blessing. Yeah. Time is going to reveal all the truth. I ain't trusting. I'm the best to ever do it. This is not even a question. They don't want to see me great. And that be the impression I'd get from all these soft ass rappers. Woo. They're trying to sabotage him, but yo, all these people trying to destroy his brand and all that. He's trying to tell you it's all camouflage. He's been in the game for so long, you can't do nothing to him. There's nothing he doesn't know about the rap game right now. You get me? He's a boss. He knows everything. He knows the ins and outs of the rap industry. So you can't destroy him. You can't sabotage his brand. Yo. You dealing with some top class shatters. I'm a sure boy. Tell me why your punchline suffers. For my sister, so we're in the top five pockets. I'm the realest in the game. Instead of top five rappers, he said they are his top five workers or workers. Did he just say workers or workers? Damn. 
damn top five watches he dropping fire here seems somebody really made sack mad again man no cap tell me when i'm a cop i be the same old cat if you niggas to push the game go back just a rapper for the kids but they ain't no fat cuz even when i go when i made more stacks how many rappers they perform when they take more cash Ooh, another fact another fact we all assume that rapping or the music industry is more for young the teenagers you know when you're in your early 20s and all that you know that is when you make money and all that but it's not true because for king sack that time when he started he didn't make shit for the past four years three years he's been making the most money you get me so he's trying to tell you that rap music is not just for the young ones it's for people who really study the game and as you grow older you can even make more money in rap music or, or in music in general dope job life Oh, they keep it clean and we go break down lack From Kumasi VIP with the tech tall bass They want me to chill like they got me on ice I see peace in the GT cause I carry on night So me we not water then I probably don't like Just let me be honest my nigga we all right Hi Yo, did y'all catch that? If he doesn't win an award that means he didn't want the award in the first place He didn't want it, he didn't want to win it Yo, what does that mean? Does that mean that if they truly want to win an award They will go to any extent to win it? Like even to pay money? To buy the way people say some people buy awards? Is that what he's trying to say? I don't know, man. Y'all be the judge. A hundred thousand on the video clip. Only because I be on my CEO shit. No discount. They get gotta feed the whole click. So we'll have my jam, then I take a road trip. Oh man, he on his Boston, man. A hundred thousand on a music video. Yo, hundred thousand US dollars or hundred thousand Ghana cities? Because if you convert hundred thousand US dollars, That is 17,300 US dollars. That is reasonable, so yeah, nothing new. But if it's 100,000 US dollars, yo, I'm eager to see that video. Yeah, in this video though, I don't think it's this video for 100,000. Unless he's super generous, then I don't know. I'm on my hustle like a strip on the pole. Hope I will get, I gotta keep on the low. I'm a legend, homie, if you wanna know. I just travel, I'm only rapping to keep you on your toe. You only got a crib, push your ass, got sand. I've been self made, everything is all mine. Yeah. At this time, he's only rapping to keep people on their toes, to keep these rappers, even, you know, to challenge them, to, to let them know, like, yo, you gotta do something, you gotta, you gotta improve on your craft, you gotta do better. Because King Sark is still, you know, he's still doing better than you guys. You guys are new, you guys are young, and he's supposed to be doing better than King Sark, who's been around for so long. You get me? He also said another lie like, you only got a house because your ass got signed. You only got a house because you got signed. That's normal. I mean, because in America, most, most of these rappers, when they sign them, they get that big check. That is when they invest in the house. They buy something that they really feel is valuable to them. They buy, some people buy cars, some people buy houses. So that part is normal. But I don't know who he's really talking about. This is targeting uh, Shatawali or he's talking about just these amateur rappers or so-called rappers. Nigga stay broke when the nigga don't grind When I roll, tell me friend me nigga, keep it online Put your dreamy level, nigga, take a chill pill Cut the bullshit, you already know the real deal It's okay, I knew it would cry, it would still kill Who buys what the pistol, who got the pill pill Cause I'm a rapper who's I think the pill pill is for Asim Asim is the one who, uh, of late, who was rapping and making pill pill, pill pill things So, I think that part, he goes for Asim And we all know, of late, every song that King Sack drops, he's always throwing jabs at people, you get me? But you have to really read between the lines, you have to really listen very closely, you have to follow the, the news and everything going on for you to really understand who he's really somehow talking about, you know? It could go for Sam and at the same time it could go for other rappers too, you get me? This is a rap game, this is how it goes, man. Too far might be the only way can I yes. Punchline, 65 feet container yes. I guess you got a disc cause she need a sustainer Man, I got a shit together like a fucking waist trainer what Many times, man, I gotta keep focus yeah. Got a shit together like a fucking waist trainer Damn, that shit is snatched, you get me? He has already figured out the rap game He knows how it goes Ain't no way he's stopping now he got so much, he got a whole container Filled up with raps You new rappers gotta really hustle hard You guys need to go hard You guys need to work extra, extra Hard because King Sag he ain't done yet. I'm a beast on the real niggas notice. Challenge the fans to the fuck with a nigga over 17 years, lifetime hypnosis. Ah. What else? Tribulations and trials and trials and tribulations. Rome was a building the day, so have patience. Under privilege, I went through financial hardship. Then I started catching plays like a catcher's mate. All A's on my ghetto report card. The first one to tell you to go. 
Yo, is that it? What happened to E40 parts? Was that all from E40? Come on, y'all. He didn't even get to introduce himself and it's already over. How do you say featuring somebody and the person didn't even introduce himself? It's the biggest flex, man. Anyway, guys, it's a wrap. You already know how it is. King Sack did it once again. There was so much information. There was so much in his rap. I feel we didn't even need E40 on the, on the, on the song and it was enough somehow. So we're gonna take it like that. Our king is enough to us, you get me? He always delivers, he never he never disappoints, you get me? But in this case, he did, he almost, he almost messed up a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. So guys, I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Join the family here where we promote positivity and see the good in every little effort people put out, you get me? I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Y'all stay blessed, peace, I'm out.